Hello and welcome to the Instructional Technology YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the sidecar feature with your iPad Pro, Apple Pencil, and MacBook Pro. The sidecar feature lets you turn your iPad Pro into a second mobile display for your MacBook Pro. And you can interact with items using your Apple Pencil. It's an awesome, awesome feature and I'll show you some ways you can use it. In order to get this set up and running correctly, there are a couple of things that you need to be mindful of. Number one, on both devices, you must have the Wi-Fi turned on. They don't have to be connected to the same network, but Wi-Fi must be on. They don't even have to be connected to the internet. Wi-Fi just needs to be on. So on my MacBook Pro, I have the Wi-Fi turned on. And on the iPad, if I go to settings, and I go to Wi-Fi, it's turned on. Again, they don't need to be connected to the same network. They don't even need to be connected to the network, a wireless network, because it's using a Wi-Fi to communicate with each other. The second thing that must be in place is Bluetooth must be turned on on all those devices. So if we, on my MacBook, if I go here, I have Bluetooth turned on. And if I go to the iPad, I go to settings and sure enough, I have Bluetooth turned on. All right. The last and final thing that must be in place in order for sidecar to work is you must be signed into iCloud using the same Apple, I, I, Apple, same Apple ID on both devices. I would suggest that you create a professional Apple ID using your APS credentials. Don't use your personal um, Apple ID. So on the computer, if I go to system preferences, you'll see here that I'm signed in as Tommy Clay into iCloud with my Apple ID, my professional Apple ID. And if I go to the iPad and I come to settings, you can see at the top I'm signed into iCloud with my professional Apple ID. Now once all three of those things are met. Wi Fi is turned on on both devices. Bluetooth is turned on on both devices. And I'm signed into the same Apple ID account on both devices. The next thing you need to do is to restart both devices. So on the computer, I will go to the Apple, I will hit restart. And on the iPad, I will hold down the power button and slide the power button off and then restart it. After you restart the iPad, you may get. Um, a pop-up asking you to confirm to put in a password for your computer on your iPad. And once you put that in, it will finish the setup process. Now, once you've restarted both devices, let's get sidecar going. To do this, we'll go to Apple, we'll go to system preferences, and right underneath here, we have sidecar. So if I click sidecar, you'll notice a couple of things. The first thing it's gonna ask you to do is to connect to a device. So if I click select device, you should see your iPad Pro. So I'm gonna select my iPad Pro and notice what happens to the iPad Pro screen after I select iPad Pro. All of my icons on my iPad Pro disappears and it, it just becomes an extension of my computer's desktop. If you get an error message that pops up when you try to connect a sidecar, the error message is usually associated with one of those three prerequisites not being met. And I, I've had it happen to me a few times. And what you have to do to fix that problem is be sure you're signed into the same iTunes account on both devices. And if you get the error message, sign out and sign back in and then restart both devices. And on your iPad, you should get a pop-up asking you to verify the password. And once you put that in and you come back to system preferences, you should be able to connect. All right, now once you're connected, you'll see a couple of items here that you can change. This one says show sidebar on the left. You can change that to the right or the left and if you noticed here when I change it to the right on the iPad the sidebar goes to the right and those are just shortcuts or quick shortcuts to different items like the keyboard undo and the command key on the iPad I'm gonna leave mine to the left we can also it says show touch bar at the top or bottom 
And this is the touch bar that appears when items come on the iPad. So I'm going to put mine down at the bottom and you'll notice it's just a black bar now because I don't have anything selected. And then this last button says enable double tap on the Apple Pencil. And then double tap allows you to double tap items to select them and do different functions. So now, now that we have Sidecar set up, of course it's a nice addition as a second display, but you can do so much more with this. Number one, anything that you drag over to the iPad as a second display, you can interact, it, interact with it with your Apple Pencil, which makes it super useful for a lot of things. And one of the great things is Google Draw. So let's open up Google. And if I go to new, more, and I do Google Drawings, it's going to open up a blank Google Drawings. And if I drag this window over to my second display, the iPad, and if I can get it all the way over, let's get it all the way over there. And I take my Apple Pencil, I can now use the Scribble tool with my Apple Pencil, and I can scribble and draw with my Apple Pencil on this Google drawing. I don't have to use my mouse or my trackpad. I can use my pencil to draw. So my drawings will be a little bit better um, using the Apple Pencil. And I can still use the Apple Pencil to interact with the menus. I can still draw shapes using the Apple Pencil. I can close out tabs using the Apple Pencil. I can open up new tabs. I can interact with this web page with my Apple Pencil. But that drawing feature is awesome. So if you use programs like Photoshop or Pixlr or any of the online drawing tools, um, you can interact with those with your Apple Pencil. Now, another great feature is using the Apple iPad when Sidecar is turned on as a interactive tablet that you can walk around your classroom with or your lab with and interact with your computer. A great use for this is with PowerPoint. So let's say I hook up my MacBook Pro to my box light or record X board and I pull up my PowerPoint and I have Sidecar turned on. When I go into presentation mode on my PowerPoint, my second display or my iPad becomes the presenter view and the presentation is displayed on my box light board, which is connected to my MacBook. And I can change the slides and walk around the class with my Apple Pencil. Um, like a, a tablet that's built for PowerPoint and I can change slides. I can control it. What makes it even better on your iPad in the lower right hand corner is this little icon that looks like two squares stacked on top of each other. If I click that, that's going to put my presentation into duplicate mode. So I'm saying the same thing on my iPad as I do on my MacBook. But what makes it great is using my Apple Pencil, I can use the markup feature with my pen and I can highlight things using my Apple Pencil on my PowerPoint. I can point out things and it treats it like a Wacom tablet that I can use um, to manipulate my PowerPoint. So that's Sidecar using Sidecar on the iPad and the MacBook Pro. It's a great feature um, and to use it is fairly simple. Just make sure the Wi-Fi is turned on, Bluetooth is turned on both devices and you're signed into iCloud with the same account on both devices. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or leave the questions below in the comment section. Thank you.